From this class, we will be learning the first lesson, Shapes and Special Understanding. Mathematics class for second standard. As I told earlier, in this class, we will be learning Shapes and Special Understanding. See this picture. What is this? This is a boat. This is drawn using lines. Now you are thinking, what is this line? Now we will learn about line and types of lines. Line. A line has length only. It has no breadth or thickness. It may be extended in both directions infinitely. You can see that there are arrow marks on both the sides, which means that they can be extended infinitely on both the sides. It does not have end points, which means that it does not have a definite length. Not only this much, there are so many types of lines. They are straight line, horizontal line, vertical line, slanting line, curved line. First we will learn about straight line. The line joining from one point to another point is called a straight line. Straight line is a part of a line. To draw a straight line, we should put two points P and Q, which are horizontal, like this. Now we should join these two points. Now we got a straight line. A straight line has two end points, which means that it has a definite length. Straight line can be drawn using a straight edge. Straight edge means the object or a thing which has plane surface. Okay, now you say. Where do we find straight edges? For example, the edge of a book, the side of a postcard. See in your house, which objects have straight edges? You try to draw a straight line using the object which have straight edge in your house. Next, we will move to horizontal line. The line which moves from left to right or from right to left is called as horizontal line. Let us see some examples related to horizontal line. You can see that there is a picture of a window and stairs. Are there any horizontal lines in these pictures? Yes. You see stairs and windows every day, no? They all have horizontal line. See the things in your house and find out which all have horizontal line. Next, we will move to vertical line. The line which moves from top to bottom or bottom to top is called vertical line. There is a picture of an electric pole and a pillar of house. Are there any vertical lines in these pictures? Yes. You see electric poles while walking on the road. We also see some pillars in the construction of buildings. When we stand straight our body will also look like a vertical line. Next, we will move to slanting line. The line which bends towards right or left is called slanting line. They look like slope. Let us see some examples. You have seen rain, no? You should not play in the rain. The raindrops will be in the form of slanting lines. And the mountains will look like the having slanting line at the edges. Now, we will move to curved line. The line which is in the circular manner is called as curved line. Now we will see some examples. When do we use umbrella? While raining or hot sunny days? This part of umbrella has curved line. You have played with the, this bow and arrow. This part of the bow has a curve. It is a curved line. You all like activity no? So, let us do a activity. In this activity, we have some letters and numbers and three bows. This is a game. First, we should see the letter or numbers. If the letter or the number has only straight line, then we should put that number or that letter in the first box. Now, we should see the letters or numbers. If the letter or the numbers has only curved line, then we should put that number or that letter in the second box. In the next one, we should see the num letters or numbers. If the letters or the numbers has both straight and curved line, 
then we should put that number or that letter in the third bowl. First we will solve all the letters. The first letter is A. Now you say which types of lines it has. It has only straight lines. If the letter has only straight lines, then in which box should we keep it? Yes, in the first box. So we will keep it in the first box. Next we will move to B. Now you say which types of lines it has? It has both straight lines and curved lines. If the letter has both lines, then which box should we keep it? Yes, in the third box. So we will keep it in the third box. Next we will move to C. Now you say which types of lines it has? It has only curved lines. If the letter has only curved lines, then which box should we keep it? Yes, in the second box. So we will keep it in the second box. D has both straight and curved lines. So we will keep it in the third box. E has only straight lines. So we will keep it in the first box. F has only straight lines. So we will keep it in the first box. G has both straight and curved lines. So we will keep it in the third box. H has only straight lines. So we will keep it in the first box. I has only straight line. So we will keep it in the first box. J has both straight and curved lines. So we will keep it in the third box. K has only straight lines. So we will keep it in the first box. Number 1 has only straight lines. So we will keep it in the first box. 2 has both straight and curved lines. So we will keep it in the third box. 3 has only curved lines. So we will keep it in the second box. 4 has only straight lines. So we will keep it in the first box. 5 has straight line and curved lines. So we will keep it in the third box. 6 has only curved lines. So we will keep it in the second box. 7 has only straight lines. So we will keep it in the first box. 8 has only curved lines. So we will keep it in the second box. 9 has only curved lines. So we will keep it in the second box. 0 also has only curved line. So we will keep it in the second box. Till now we have learnt about lines. Now let us learn about slides and rolls based on the shape of the objects it can roll and slide or both the slide and roll you know what is the difference between roll and slide now we will move into slides sliding is when the things just slide down on the surface at once without any flip flop or turning over objects with plain surface will slide Children, you have played in the slides, no? When you sit on the slide, you will slide from top to bottom. The pawn on the carom board also will slide. Now we will go to rolling. Rolling is when things turn over and over again. Let us see some examples for rolling. Children, you have played in cycle, no? You have seen that the wheels of the cycle will roll. On the ground, see this. The wheels of the road roller also will roll. Do this homework, 